Hey, what's up guys? So I want to make a quick video, a very quick video to give you five tips on how to find the comet that is visible right now in the sky. So um, hopefully you guys can find it tonight or tomorrow uh, with this help. So before we start, the comet is visible between 3.45 a.m. and 5 a.m. at best. So it's really bright. You can actually see the tail of the comet and the nucleus with the naked eye. So it's really impressive. It's actually really easy to find, you just have to make sure you're looking at the right place. So tip number one, make sure there is no like house or wall or uh, mountain uh, in your way between you and the northeast sky because the comet is really low in the horizon so you want to make sure you really have an open view of the northeast. Uh, I tried for a couple of nights finding it from the backyard but with the neighbor's house there was no way. That's why last night I woke up super early and drove to uh, an area where there was an open view of the northeast. Number two, try if you can to be high when you look for the comet. And when I say to be high, like try to be um, in a high spot. So last night when I went out, there was a, a small mountain. So I hiked it for about 20, 25 minutes. And then once I was up there, there was like nothing in my way. It was an open view. I could see the whole city. I could see the mountains and the in the horizon. And all I had to do was wait for the comet to pop out behind them. So. Uh, if you can, try to climb, either on a building or on a mountain or whatever, just to have an open view with nothing in your way. Tip number three, uh, if you can, use binoculars. Um, you don't have to to find the comet because it's so bright, but if you just scan the area with any binoculars, you will see it you know, so easily because it's going to pop out so bright. Um, so if you're having some trouble to find it, just have a pair of binoculars and just scan the area. Um, and then tip number four, use an app on your phone. Uh, I used Sky Safari, but you can also use like Star Chart or Star Walk or Stellarium. Uh, just make sure those guys um, have the comet in the database. For Sky Safari Pro, at least the one I have, the uh, comet was already in there by default. So um, with the app, you can really see exactly where it is uh, compared to where you are in on Earth. So once you have the location, on your phone you can simply star hop from a bright star to bright star and for example last night it was just under Capella so it's a bright star and it was really easy to find because you can just look for Capella and then under it was the comet so and then tip number five that's probably the most important one because I made the mistake last night when you're looking for Capella if it's still under there when you're looking for it um, you know Capella is a bright star and I was looking a bit too much to the right because I saw a very bright star. I was like, oh, there we go, Capella, easy. But no, I didn't think it was Venus. So Venus is right, not right next to Capella, but it's not far from it. And since it's so bright, you might just assume it's Capella, but no, it's Venus. So um, the, the reason I found out it was Venus was because I saw the Pleiades above, uh, above Venus and I was like, the Pleiades, not supposed to be there. So I checked my app and I was like, oh, yeah, that's Venus. So all I had to do was look a bit to the left for the next bright star, so Capella, and just under there was the comet rising. So um, don't make the mistake of, uh, I mean, make sure you have the right star um, in sight before you look around. And uh, yeah, those are my five tips. I don't think there's anything else to say about the comet. Uh, it's supposed to be still available for about two or three days, I think. And it's gonna go back around the Earth, so it won't be visible. But we'll come back in like a week or two, uh, around July 16th, I think, um, in the evening. So hopefully it's going to be even better there. But we don't know if it's going to disintegrate or not. We don't, we don't have a clue because it might just disintegrate on the way back, so uh, on the way around. So um, yeah, just if you can, just go tonight or tomorrow. Like I, I almost didn't go last night, but I, I forced myself to go. And I'm so happy I did. It was impressive. You can actually see the comet. I assumed I could only see the nucleus with the naked eye from Vegas. But no, you can actually see the nucleus and the tail. Um, so it's, it's amazing. Tonight, make sure you catch episode 14 of Galactic Hunter. And then next week, I'll have that video about the comet. And uh, we'll upload that next week. So I'll see you guys next time. And clear sky. And good luck. And go tonight. Make sure you go.